now the list of the top six teams that have qualified for the stage now. So, on the sixth position uh, is the team from Government Engineering College, Vaishali, Rajneesh Kumar and Ashutosh Kumar. Uh, the names that I'm going to take, uh, you prepare yourselves, we'll st shortly start the stage round in 10 minutes. The team on the fifth position is Preeti Kumari and Amritansh Kumar from Government Engineering College, Bhojpur. Team on the fourth position is Nishant Gaurav and Mithunjay Kumar from Nalanda Engineering College. Team on the third position is Aman Satyam and Samir Sundaram from MIT Muzaffarpur. Team on the second position is Preeti Kumari and Riddhi Pandey from St. Xavier's College of Management Technology, Patna. And team one is Pankaj Kumar and Shubham Kumar from Nalanda Engineering College. So these six teams, you prepare yourselves. I'll uh, call the top, the, the first uh, team to come and choose their seats and accordingly all the teams will come and choose their seats. And once we sit down, we'll start the stage. Engineering Chandi, Pankaj Kumar and Shubham Kumar. Pandey from St. Xavier's College to come on stage. And Samir Sundram from MIT Muzaffarpur. <coughs> Tunjay Kumar from Nalanda College of Engineering, Nalanda. <laughs> Can I have Preeti Kumari Amritansh Kumar from Government Engineering College, Bhojpur? from Government Engineering College, Vaishali. You will get a crossword grid on the screen and I will be asking you questions. First we will start with the across section and then we will answer. Like if I ask you a clue which is direct to you and if you answer you get a plus 20 and you get a plus 10 if it is a passed on clue. So if you cannot answer, if they answer they get plus 5. Any team that answers they get a plus 5. Because you will be having some uh, clues already solved in the grid, so it will become easy for you and that is why we get lesser marks. So we will start in the next two minutes, I am just waiting for the name sheets to come. And we'll be uh, having uh, the across clues and the down clues for you to solve. Uh, I know it'll be a little difficult for you uh, initially, but uh, I'll be there to help you out. We'll just try to figure out the answer together. And uh, so, do you, are you ready? Everybody comfortable? Shall we start? Okay. Created extremely arrogant Gora. 
It's a six letter word. I'll give you a reasonable time to think about it. Nobel laureate created extremely elegant Gora. It's a six letter word. If you answer correctly, you get 20 points. If you want, you can pass. No idea. No idea. No idea. Uh, no, team two. Tagore. And how did you get that? Last two words. Can you explain? Give it a bit. Tagore is the Nobel laureate and G O R D A G O R. Correct. Absolutely correct. Can I have a round of applause for team two? They get 10 points. Team two gets 10 points. So second. Cured that man with lead compound. You may also read it as lead compound. Cured that man with lead compound, a six letter word. Cured that man with lead compound. Cured that man with lead compound. Do you have the answer? Team 3? I'll have to pass it. Team 4? So we think uh, helped, 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 you, you Your answer is helped? Yes. No, it's, it's incorrect. Can you pass on the mic to the next team, please? Healed. You're saying healed. How do you get that? Can you, can you switch on the mic, please? Switch it on. you get healed? Uh, so we got lead and uh, with the help of word cured we uh, found out the synonym for cured which means healed. So uh, that is absolutely correct. Team 4 gets plus 10. Plus 10. So that man is he and you play it around with lead or lead becomes healed which means cured. Next is a direct clue to team 3. Do you have your mics with you? Fit leaders in aerobics, basically lively, energetic. It's a four letter word. Fit leaders in aerobics, basically lively, energetic. Four letter word. So, Abel? 
Can you say it louder? Able. E spell it. A B N E. How did you get that? Uh, first letters means as an indicator. To, we have to take first letters of. Perfect. Perfect. Plus twenty for the perfect answer. So this is the clue type is acrostics where you take first letter of each word. So leaders is the uh, indicator. So you take arrow A from Arabic, B from basically L from lively, and E from energetic and able, which means fit. Now a direct clue for team four. Attack of vain criminal near suburb of Mumbai. It's an eight-letter word. Attack of vain criminal near suburb of Mumbai. Team four. I'm oh, sorry. Team five. Do you have the answer? Attack of vain criminal near suburb of Mumbai. <laughs> Do you have it or do you want to pass it? Taj Hotel, sir. Taj Hotel. It's incorrect. Hotel Taj? No, it's incorrect. Team 6. No, incorrect. Didn't pass. Passes. You won't pass. Anybody from the audience? Do you want to try? I can. You, can you shout it out loud, please? Incorrect. Any more answers from the crowd? No, incorrect. Nigeria. Answer is. Invasion. And how do you get that? So suburb of Mumbai is Cyan. And you there's an anagram with the word vain. So it's invasion which means attack. So that is what crossword is. You have to you know, use your brain around each and every word which is there. And the answer is hidden somewhere inside the clue. You just have to find out. So this was a direct clue for team 4, right? Fly in game, seven letter word. Fly in game. It's a seven letter word.
I'll give you a little, little hint. So concentrate on the words fly and aim. Cricket is correct, so you get 10 points. Now you have explained to me how did you get cricket. It is plus 10 for team 1. Do you want me to explain? Do you want me to explain? So this type of clue is called double definition. So the two words that define cricket. So game is also cricket and fly is also cricket. So there you go, that is cricket, the answer is cricket. Sorry, I, I, I saw team uh, 4 very eager and uh, but there is a way we do it, so clockwise and counterclockwise. <laughs> Perhaps love to hug wife, it's a 5 letter word. I say perhaps love to hug wife. Five letters. This goes to team three. <coughs> I say perhaps love to her wife. Dear? No. Team two. Happy? Incorrect. Team 1. Loved. Incorrect. Yeah. Oh, that, it was there, that request. So you don't have any idea. Audience? Inside played a role in drama. It's a five letter word and an easy clue. An editor caught inside played a role in drama. It's team six's direct clue. No. 
Team four. Don't. Team three. Guest Incorrect Joker Incorrect Audience Director I, I heard what It's very close to actor but what is it? I heard the right answer Correct From editor CT from court And the definition is Played a role in drama That is acted Experience. Holding very melodious musical instrument, a seven letter word. <coughs> Son ran around holding a very melodious musical instrument, seven letter word. The answer it all be like, oh, so you all are, all of you here knows the answer, but knows the word basically. Or do you want to pass it? Okay, can you say it loud? Santur. And how did you get Santur? Because it's from sun and ran around me. And it's a musical instrument. Sun and ran? Ran around me. Ran around. Alright, it's a correct answer. You get plus 10. So very is two and sun ram, you mix these words, it's an anagram and a container clue, it becomes santur, which is a melodious musical instrument. I eat crab pieces, they make me sick. It's an eight letter word. I eat crap pieces, they make me sick. Eight letter word. I eat crap pieces, they make me sick. <coughs> Team three. Pass. Team Ice cream. Three. Ice cream. No, it's correct. Six says sandwich is incorrect. How do you get bacteria? The answer is bacteria, and if you jumble the words I eat crab, you eat you get bacteria. That bye bye business house, a four letter word, and I think the easiest of all the clues in this grid. At the beginning I said I'll give you reasonable time. This is just more than digital time. Rent? Rent? Incorrect. Team 2? DG? Incorrect. Team 1? Tata. Bye bye, Tata. Bye bye, business house. This is a double definition. Team one gets plus ten. 
director Dhoni's first attack securing victory. Six letter word. This clue is a bit tricky, you have to work around with words. Legendary cricketer Dhoni's first attack securing victory. Six letters. I didn't ask the question for you, Zita. Indian, that is incorrect. Finish. Uh, incorrect. Team four. Winner. It's incorrect. Now, sir, you can answer. Strike. Strike. Keeper. Keeping. Keeping, sir. Keep. So, uh, work around the word attack. What is a different, what is a synonym for attack? I'll give you uh, attack, a different word for attack is raid. Now try to solve it. I'm not going to give any points for that. The answer is Dravid. So attack means raid. A different word for raid is, uh, attack is raid. Dhoni's first means D and V from victory. That gets you? Dravid, who's a legendary cricketer. The last clue in the across section is for team one. A car, if lost, reaches a dark continent. A car, if lost, reaches dark continent. It's a six letter word. A direct clue for team one. And direct Athirika. answer would give you 20. Athirika. Can you shout it? I ask you to shout it because it's the right answer. Shout it. Athirika. Africa. That's correct. Absolutely correct. You get plus 20. Do you know how did you get that? Can you, can you answer? A car if. If you jumble a car if, you get Africa, which is a continent. Perfect. So we're done with the across round of the uh, crossword grid here. So now on, for all the down answers, you get a plus 10 and a plus 5. So I'd just like to look at the scores first before going to the down round. Can we have the scores, please? Team 6, team six you are yet to score yet. So you have 0 points. Team 5 has 10 points. Team 4 has 10 points. Team 3 has 20 points. Team 2 has 10 points. And team one leads at 40. So this is a direct clue for team one. Rama is about to eat a bit of bhaji, popular South Indian breakfast food. Don't, don't shout the answer. If I ask you, then only you shout the answer. Do you have the answer? It's an easy answer. And you already have three letters. Arvan.
वर्ड अरमान जी सर अरमान बट नाउ आई हैव टू पास बिकॉज इट्स नफ पास हिम टू सांबर करेक्ट डू आई नीड टू आस हाउ डू कह रहे इट्स अ पॉपुलर साउथ इंडियन ब्रेकफास्ट एंड बाय द वर्ड्स मिसिंग वर्ड्स वन सो रामा इज बिकम्स रामा अप्रोस्ट्रफी एस व्हिच इज एस ए आर एम एस एंड देन बिकम बची इज वेरी गुड सांबर प्लस टेन फोर्टीन टू सो ओवर साइज्ड इंग्लिश साइंटिस्ट a four letter word black oversized english scientist boss and how do you get boss b o s e by reading the first words the answer is correct but you don't rename the first word you get b from black o s from oversized and e from english and do you know the scientist yadish chand bose perfect perfect team 2 gets plus 5 plus 10 now direct creators caught in act seven letter word firm group of investigators caught in act seven letter word you already have three letters fit firm group of investigators caught in act try to find a different word for act play around that of investigators caught in the act seven letters you may also think about investigating agencies you wish to pass team 6 revives that's incorrect team 1 team 2 Can you pass the mic to team two? You have an answer. Give hi. No, it's incorrect. That's what it said. So, let me just ask this question from all of you again. So, how many uh, government investigating agencies do you know in India? And there's a serial on it. There's a serial on it. There's a serial on TV, television on it. CID and what is a different word for act? Act is also called deed. So deed plus CID you get decided, which means firm. So this was a. direct clue for team 3 right extra page now the next direct clue for team 4 god seen in kashi varanasi Five letter word. God seen in Kashi, Varanasi. Five letter word. Shiva. How did you get that? God is Shiva and Kashi. We know that this place is famous for this. Okay, although it's a correct answer, but this type of clue, this is for informative purposes. This type of clue is is the one where there's a hidden word. So. Uh, If you take S H I from Kashi and V A from Varanasi, it becomes Shiva. So usually in these type of clues, which this is God, of course. So 
in these type of clues, you have to you know concentrate on if there are words lying between two words. So Shiva is correct. Uh, team four gets plus ten. So next direct clue for team five. Document father's game. Document father's game is an eight letter word. This is an easy clue. Document father's game. I've designed with energy, eight letter word. Artistic card, I've designed with energy, eight letter word. You say creative. Correct. Plus 10 for team 6. Creative is the right answer. So if, if there's an anagram of cart I have, I and if you jumble these words, you'll get creative, which means artistic. So plus 10 for team 6 again. Direct clue for team 5. Ray slicing Indian bread for famous author. Seven. Seven letter word. Ray slicing Indian bread for famous author. <laughs> Work around the word Indian bread. The words Indian bread. Ray slicing Indian bread for famous author, seven letter word. Slicing Indian bread for famous author. Seven. You can pass if you don't have it. Pass. T4. Team 1. 
Que passe. Team 6. Audience? Narayan. And how do you get Narayan? Narayan for Indian bread and Indian bread. Perfect. So Indian bread is Naan and you put rain between Naan, it gives you Narayan which is R.K. Narayan, a famous author. Each AIR studio, six letter word. Places to sit in each AIR studio, six letter word. I don't want you to you know, shout out the answer. Just pass, team three. Chairs. How do you get chairs? For each CCH, AIR, studio S. Perfect, perfect. So team three gets plus ten. Oh, sorry, plus five. So this is again a hidden word. So C H A I R S and chairs mean places to sit. So now the next clue is for team three. It's a direct clue for you. Choose Indian Civil Service in short, or a branch of science. Six. Choose Indian Civil Service in short or a branch of science. Six. Letter word. Choose Indian Civil Service in short or a branch of science. Six. Letter word. So you have the main three letters of the answer there on the screen. If you don't have it, you can pass. Okay, so okay, I'll pass the mic. Team 2, do you have it? Optics. How do you get optics? Just guess. O, -R -O T from salt. So, so actually, uh, it's a correct answer. Plus 5 to team 2. Uh, so to choose is to opt. So you get opt from there. And Indian Civil Service in short is ICS, becomes optics, is a branch of science. So plus two for team, uh, plus five for team two. Now the next. Okay, so the next direct clue is from team 2, right? Read casually after good rank in exam. So file letter word and a direct clue for team 2. Read casually after good rank in exam. If 
five letter word. Read casually after good rank in exam. Five letter word. Do you have a team too? Pride. Yeah, this is incorrect. Team one. Proud. Incorrect. Team six. It's a grade. G R A D E. And how did you get grade? So grade is correct, team 6 gets plus 5. So you have, you have to jumble the word read or read and you get G from good becomes grade which is a rank in exam. So team 6 here gets plus 5. Now the last clue of the grid, the last clue of this uh, zonal round is for team 1. Some got uranium in Meghale. It's a four letter word. This one is a little tricky. Some got uranium in Meghale. Tarai. T T I R E. No, it's incorrect. Team six. T R A. No, that is incorrect. Team 5. If nothing else, this is a clue for general knowledge. How do you get Kutura? And what what relevance does Tura have? Some from God, which is T. No, that is that Tura is a correct answer, you get plus five. But what relevance does Tura have to the answer? How is it related? What's the definition? It's what is Tura? Uh, it's a guess. Uh, I think it's a place in Vigana. Correct. So Tura is a place in Meghale, it is situated in the West Garo Hills and it is the cultural and the administrative centre for the Garo tribe in Meghale. That is a correct answer. With this we come to the end of the zonal rounds here. We will shortly begin the AKAM round for the audience, so you will get fancy hampers. And uh, before we end, do, can I have the scores? Scores with me. I'll start with team six. Team six gets 25. Team five gets 15. Team four gets 20. Team three gets 25. Team two gets 30. And the winner is team one with 40 points. So I'll ask you all to leave and uh, go and stay or if you want you can stay uh, while we finish the AKM rounds and shortly we'll have the prize distribution session. Mm -hmm. So we've got six questions. I'll try to get you through the answer and uh, if you answer the correct, uh, if you answer correctly you get a small token of appreciation as well as a new arrival in Bihar. Painting style. Steno takes time. No, it's a five letter word. Mic. Patna painting. You, you answer Patna. Yes. Can you get the mic to him, please? Patna painting. Patna painting.
No, no, that's incorrect. Patna. Uh, Patna painting also. Okay, okay. Patna is correct. If uh, Can you give him one of those t-shirts? So, Panchayati Raj Institution owns Posh Beach. It's a four. You want? Okay, okay, okay. Do you do you want me to uh, give you a hint? In case of Bengal, that is correct. Puri is correct. But how do you get? Bengal ki khadi mein hi wo, uska jo beach hai wo Bengal ki khadi mein hi hai. बिल्कुल सही सही. Hint से मैं आपको मिला है, but वो clue से मैं बता देता हूँ. Panchayati Raj, commonly known as PRI. Posh, जो word है. Uh, crossword ke terms mein, uh, posh is also considered as you. So in the old English uh, books, you will always find the urban crowd, ya upper class ko you bola jata tha. So posh is upper class, is you. That is where you get the you from. Put you in PRI, it becomes Puri. Puri is a place that faces face, Bay of Bengal. Sir, uh, uh, sir. Label got nothing right for English poet, six letter word. Huh? Who asked you for India? India is not that the clue. Nothing is zero, which is O, and R is right in English is E, Tagore. Uh, don't mind the fight there, it's a seven letter word. Lost behind beach. Let me give you a hint first. Uh, raise your hand, we'll come to you. Gentlemen here, says figure out how did you get the answer? That is there, but uh, we try to solve it the crossword way. We'll try to solve it through the clue. Uh, uh, no, that is okay. okay. That is what we get from the hint. We'll try to figure it out from so, the clue. The word whisker is also whisker. The word no, whisker. that again is uh, <clears throat> in the hint. Yes. I'm talking about the clue. For clue, sweet delicacy, she lost behind beach. <clears throat> so beach is what? Made of sun and sand. Yes. So we get sand from beach. And we we'll, we'll use she. So we'll put an anagram of she behind sand, which gives us Sandesh, also a famous sweet delicacy. Thank you so much, sir. Can I have a round of applause for sir? Procured land for a place of learning. This is a seven letter word. Let me give you a hint. You answer? What? We'll send you a mic and then you answer. Nalanda. And how do you get the answer? Close to Patna. From the clue? North American. Wahan pe kya ho jaga? North American se kya mil raha hai? NA. Yes, sir. Land mm -hmm. hamare paas hai hi? Yes, sir. And? Place of learning. A fir se mil gaya? Yes, sir. Place of learning definition hai? We get Nalanda. T-shirt for him. And round of applause for him. AKAM round. Again for audience. How do you get Holi? H. No, entire oil you take. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, get a t-shirt. Congratulations. So with that, we come to the end of the zonal and the AKM rounds. Thank you, ceremonies. You know the answer and you're willing to. But again, we have limited clues, so I want you to answer. Right. So do you want me to start? Hold on, I can't move between team three and team six. Hold on, I can't move.
seven letter word. Nobody? All I can't is contain, which means hold. Okay. So the next question. But we have limited questions. Turns into a grim journey. Nine letter word. Turns into a grim journey. Nine letter word. Any of you, do you have it? Tiebreaker for the third position. Team three. Nice, damp swimming creates global scare. Swimming creates global scare. Eight letter word. We've born been through it. I want you to answer this one. Team three and team six. And team three awaits for the third position. Perfect. Now we'll shortly start with uh, the prize distribution and the ceremonies. Thank you so much teams. You can get back and we'll, we'll start again. Shivangi, welcome you all on behalf of the entire CIMP family to the East Zonal Round of National Inter-College Crossword Expedition 2022. NICE 2022 is a national level inter-college three-stage contest conducted in a hybrid online-offline mode. It is jointly organized by AICTE and UGC with Extra C, a civil society initiative based in Patna, as part of the celebrations of Azadi Ka Amrit Mohotsa Atka. The objective is to showcase India's rich learning heritage by leveraging the beautiful mind game of crosswords. This program is supported by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. Before we start, I take this opportunity to brief our honorable guests as well as the participants and attendees about our institution. A brainchild of Honorable Chief Minister Shri Nitish Kumarji, who also happens to be the Chairman of the Board of Governors of the Institute, CIMP was established in 2008 as an autonomous institute on the lines of IIMs with the active support and help from the Government of Bihar to resurrect the educational glory of Bihar. Within a short span of time, the institute has achieved various international and national laurels and is ranked among the top 100 management institutions in the country under the NIRF ranking 2021 conducted by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. Now, on behalf of the entire CINP family, I take this opportunity to heartily welcome Sri Vivek Kumarji, IAS Development Commissioner, Bihar. I also accord a very warm welcome to Sri Deepan Sahuji, Assistant Innovation Director, AICTE, Ministry of Education. I also take this opportunity to welcome Director of CIMP, Professor Dr. Rana Singh, and Chief Administrative Officer of CIMP, Sri Kumod Kumarji. And last but not the least, all the participants, other esteemed guests, and our faculty members. Yes, Sri Vivek Kumar Singh Ji and Sri Deepan Sahuji on the dais by presenting a plant. Now, our 
would request Ms. Anjali and Ms. Aparna to greet our director, sir, and Shri Kumod Kumarji on the dais by presenting a plant. We now move forward to our next session of award and certificate distribution to the top three finalists of the East Zone round of the NICE 2022 event. Engineering, Mr. Pankaj Kumar and Mr. Shubham Kumar, congratulations. Now the winner of this East Zonal Round of the NICE 2022 event is Government Engineering College, Vaishali, Mr. Rajneesh Kumar and Mr. Ashutosh Kumar. Congratulations to the winning team. members one by one. Shri Deepan Sahuji, Assistant Innovation Director, AICT, MOE. Yanpi, Dr. Rana Singhji. stage one by one. I'll call the names in alphabetical order. To start with, I'll first call Professor Dr. Ankit Sharma.
तिवारी प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर संतोष कुमार विष्णु पूरा नाम प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर सुदीप रोहित Pleasure, privilege, honor, and delight to have with us Shri Vivek Kumar Singh Ji, Development Commissioner, Government of Bihar, and Shri Deepan Sahu Ji, who is Assistant Innovation Director with All India Council for Technical Education, Ministry of Education, Government of India, on this auspicious occasion of Nice 2022 National Intercollege Expedition. We are indeed blessed to have with. us to luminaries from the domain of administration and innovation both of them are committed to the cause of fostering excellence in the domain of academics administration innovation and allied areas we are indeed thankful and grateful to vivek kumar singh sir who blessed us as chief guest for inaugurating our bosch center for skill development and industry academia cell and has been inspiring us for doing better and brighter and it was also a great pleasure to listen to us which was echoing and was concomitant to my thought process this morning i was talking with one of my colleagues one of my intent and he shared the same intent so it was indeed a great pleasure who inspired us to set new benchmarks of excellence and to leave behind some of the top b schools of the economy and it would be and it should be our earnest endeavor to focus on research innovation incubation commercialization and allied areas so that in the times to come we become a benchmark of excellence for others to emulate us and to follow our actions deeds and initiatives i'm also glad to say that we as chandragupta institute of management are blessed to have with us some of the most eminent faculty members from all over the country having their educational background from some of the top notch institutions like iims xlri niti those who are pioneering their focus areas in the domain of academics research consulting training innovation incubation and all other allied areas so i take this opportunity to extend my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to all the eminent and brilliant faculty members who have taken this institute to newer heights and today cimp ranks among the top 100 in the country as per nirf rankings we are also thankful to deepan sahu ji who has been inspiring us to focus on innovation how and what should be the prerequisites of some of the top notch institutions like us to focus more and more on innovation research incubation and what should be the pedagogy what should be the approach of faculty members what should be the various initiatives so it's indeed a moment of great pleasure honor and pride for all of us to have two such luminaries i take this opportunity to welcome both of them and also express my heartfelt gratitude to both these luminaries and we look forward to have 
their consistent presence in the times to come and get their words of wisdom and motivation and an unending source of inspiration. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Over to you. With a big round of applause, I would like to invite our Honorable Chief Guest Sri Vivek Kumar Singh Ji to the lecture for his kind words. A very bright and illuminating guest from AICT Delhi, Sri Deepan Saho Ji. A very competent CAO of uh, CIMP, Sri Kumod Kumar Ji. A very enlightened set of faculty and bright set of students. Personally, it is a great pleasure for me to be part of this kind of a program where you have the brightest of minds actually engaged in a crossfire and a very healthy crossfire. I watched the final parts of your crossword contest and was delighted to see the standard. Firstly, I must, on behalf of Extra C also, thank firstly the AICT for having initiated this kind of an event which is one of its kind in the world. Nowhere in the world you have a national inter-college crossword contest. So the first year goes to AICT and the representative here, Mr. Deepan Sahib. The second, but of course, a cheer of the same nature goes for CIMP, because I remember I had come here for a small program, and they were uh, introducing a boss center out here. And then I just spoke about the whole idea that we are, I mean, organizing this kind of an event across the country and there would be very good host institutions. And I was so happy to see the way it was lapped up by the director, the CEO, Mr. Rajiv Ranjan and the entire team that I spoke to AICT on that very day and they were very happy to nominate CIMP as the host institution for the ESO. So my compliments to the institution. My special compliment, uh, compliments to all the participants today because crossword is something which is very new and you have actually not done it in your schools and naturally when you are at college level you are into so many other pressures. So at this stage if you have tried and decided to go for crosswords you are some, some kind of a leader by yourself. People generally ask me this basic question as to why crosswords. Isn't it a waste of time? So I tell them, and it is not me, it is the science which is telling them. One, crossword helps you in developing your analytical skills. Now any competition today is always looking for the mental ability for the scholastic aptitude test. And these are now prerequisite for, for climbing up the ladder in your life. So it is no more a luxury, it is no more a pastime to have a good analytical skill and a profound vocabulary. Both of these are provided by crosswords. I normally cite the example of Sundar Pichai and Satya Nadila, that you have engineers coming from good institutions, the IITs and other places. But what makes these people stand out? It, it is not the, the work that they are doing in the labs. It is their quality of articulation the way they express themselves because the leaders are made through words, through the way you express yourself. And for expressing yourself, you must have something called the mental thesaurus. For every word, you should know as to what the precise word is. Unlike the Bombay heroes, when you see their interview and if they have anything nice to say, for them it is either awesome or mind-blowing. So you don't restrict your vocabulary to awesome, mind-blowing and epic. There is a huge world of vocabulary which is available. Make the best of it. So, I mean, engage yourself in crosswords and do it regularly. Now the next question arises, where should I do it? So there is a specific contest which is held every day on the website cryptexing.com. It is called the ACAD Plus. Every day only one clue comes, it doesn't take you more than three to four minutes at the most to solve it and over a period of time you learn the basics of crossword and you learn how to engage yourself constructively in the afternoon when you have nothing better to do. So try to go for it, try to develop crossword as a, as a very healthy pastime and don't take it as only a mastika thing or something which is offbeat. 
it may look slightly offbeat to begin with. It may be slightly uh, Greekish to to many of you. But once you do it, and as you would have seen the participants, once you get a hang of it, it is fun and only fun. So I thank all of you. I compliment all of you, and I wish all of you the very best. I'm sure with the minds that you have. And with the energy and the enthusiasm that you have, you will surely go places. All of us have great hopes from you, your parents, your uh, teachers, your faculty, your, uh, uh, your friends and us. So, I mean, let us hope and believe in you. And I'm sure with your kind of enterprise, with your kind of intelligence, with your kind of enthusiasm, you will rise to the highest levels of your career and life. Thank you very much. Now, I would take this opportunity to invite Sri Deepan Sahuji, Assistant Innovation Director, AICT, Ministry of Education, to the lecture to share his thoughts. A very good afternoon to all. Respected Chief Guest of the program, Sri Vivek Singh Sir, Development Commissioner of Bihar, and the person who is the brainchild behind this program. So thank you for your presence, sir, and inspiring the whole team and uh, be, uh, always there to support and guide us in making this program bigger and bigger. Director of CIMP, Professor Rana Singh Ji, who is uh, hosting this program and creating this momentum in the state of Bihar with so many innovation and entrepreneurship programs and this program is one of them. So thank you uh, Rana Singh Ji for leading and the, all the members from Extra C who has given all, all kind of energy and efforts to make and bring the quality in this program and all the volunteers faculty members and the participants, actually all of your active involvement made this program so successful so that now we have crossed and we have reached to a level of second stage and from there we will identify the top ones to participate in the last stage, the final stage at Delhi and which is going to be held in the month of August and I can see the bright minds, their participation and how this crossword whole things has been uh, um, um, has been implemented so far is so far is very very satisfactory and I think we will take this program in a better way in coming days and with more additional dimensions. Now comes to the purpose of this kind of program. See I can see the very positive correlation between the crossword with the creativity. So crossword gives a challenge to solve and the creativity is the, exactly the synonym of that and through this we are triggering the mindset of our youth to think uh, beyond the comfort zone and coming up with a solution, right? So here is the only the solution to the question, but in the real life also we have to apply the same principle to identify the problem and coming up the solution. That's why I can see a very close relation and uh, uh, with these two words, this crossword and the creativity. And furthermore, crossword helps in uh, uh, increasing our vocabulary and that also helps in the articulation and expression of the, what we want to say to or what we want to communicate to our uh, other parties. So crossword has the many positives and as suggested, we have to practice it and also we have to see that how we will do this kind of things every day so that we will always set a challenge to our mind to think beyond uh, our daily routine activities. Ministry of Education has a mission and we are doing it since last three to four years to develop this innovative and creative mindset in our youth and Smart India Hackathon is one of the initiatives. I hope many of you are aware about the Smart India Hackathon and uh, we, we have already reached this fourth stage and now it has been a massive successful and we have set up a very open innovation model where our youths are solving the problems of government and industries. Similarly, we have other programs many educational institutions and higher educational institutions they are implementing it and providing enough avenues and the support system and platforms to our students to engage to practice and developing the awareness on innovation and entrepreneurship now comes to the very specific points being an individual what are the qualities how you can judge yourself that you have that entrepreneurship and innovative quality or not first 
it is a very simple thumb rule the first one you have to ask yourself that are you self motivated enough to undertake any activity that is be it a professional or be it is a personal activity if it is a self motivation behind that then i think you are in the right direction once you are self motivated the next is that opportunity realization or your restlessness to identify the opportunity and to solve that uh, problems uh, with a better and uh, be better way so that is the another quality the only self motivated students or self motivated youths they always go for that opportunity recognition mindset they always seek for solution for the problems they are encountering in their daily life once you have these two things the third one is that you have information seeking that means once you have a solution to convert that solution to a product or to take to the market you should not just adopt a gambler approach but rather than you to seek informations and you have to apply the logics that how you will convert that solutions to market through a very uh, systematic way then only you can reduce the risk you can mitigate the risk and you will also uh, manage the uncertainties and the th fourth one the most important quality is called locus of control once you decided the how to implement then you have the better understanding on the all the factors both internal and external factors and no doubt internal factors you have to control but external factors you have to understand and you should have plan a and b then only you can able to finish that work or that assignments in a time bound fashion so these four qualities decide that do, do you have the, that entrepreneurial and the innovative mindset or not if you have this four then i think you are in the right direction and very soon you are going to have your uh, role as an entrepreneur or innovator or as an entrepreneur if you will take any job so it's a question to the students or especially the youths and also if faculty can answer it so how many you have uh, satisfying all these four criteria one is the self motivation the second is called opportunity recognition or the restlessness in finding solutions to the problem that you are encountering and the third one is called your uh, information seeking or logical approach and the fourth one is called locus of control on the factors so please raise your hand who who are satisfying all these four criteria one two please raise your hand with yes 3 4 so i can see handful number of people have this kind of things but believe me others are not raising hand that doesn't mean that they are not satisfying but they have to refine they have to work on these four areas and they have to gradually improve but definitely i can say that these five six people or 10 people those have raised hand definitely they are performing well in their current job or in they are thinking something to start their own venture or to start up in near future okay, am i right so those have raised hand please stand so yeah this this five people so just to tell me in one one line or in one sentence that actually what i've said is true or wrong 100% true 100% true and you so are you are you planning to start something in future your own venture and the last one two so uh, this this formula this thumb rule is applying okay then i think my formula is uh, uh, it's it's working well so thank you thank you all for uh, your presence here and also congratulations to the, all the team members those secured the position first second and third and definitely our extra team will communicate you all that you for next uh, group instead of management partner if you want you have something in your mind like any idea and you want to pursue it for further so thank you thank you all may i call upon the dai shri kumod kumar ji to deliver the vote of thanks yamp shri uh, dr anna singh ji and shri kumod kumar ji to present mementos to our honorable guests On behalf of Chandragupta Institute of Management, Patna, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Honorable Guest Sri Vivek Kumar Singh Ji, Development Commissioner of Bihar, and Sri Deepan Sahu Ji, Assistant Innovation Director, Ministry of Education's Innovation Cell, for gracing today's event. Thank you both for taking out your valuable time for this event. I am obliged to AICT 
and UGC for selecting CIMP as a host institution for the East Journal Round. And I also grateful to Extra C for being a collaborative partner. I want to thank our respected director, Dr. Rana Singh, whose guidance for CIMP is touching new heights of success. I want to give special credit to Professor Rajiv Ranjan for being the pillar of support and coordinating this event, events operations tirelessly. I would also like to thank and get, uh, congratulate all participants and the winning team teams of this event. I take this as an opportunity to appreciate our brilliant faculty members for their guidance, support and enthusiasm in conducting the event. Lastly, I would like to thank my team for their back-end support and the volunteer interns who ran around doing most of the activities. Once again, I thank you all for your cordial cooperation. Thank you. Jai Hind.